So today I'll be showing you guys how to remove the Google extension virus that you may find um, on your system. First step, you're going to want to check to see what you're working with. So we need to go to our settings and go to your Google extensions. From these settings right here, from this extension right here, it'll tell us what we're looking for um, in a sense. So in order to see this ID here, which is what we're looking for, what we need, is we would need to enable developer mode. If you do not have an, a developer mode enabled on the top right corner um, of the window here, you won't be able to see the ID. The ID will identify the virus that or that we need to remove on our system. It's related to a registry, but it's what enables the, the virus to, to keep reinstalling or re-enabling um, or making any updates and, updates and changes in the future. So. Once you have that, once you take, took a look at what ID of the Google Doc or this virus um, is associated with, we are going to do a couple of steps to re remove it completely from the system. Now, after you've taken a look at that, you want to use any antivirus that you might have, um, whatever it is. It could be Norton, it could be AVG, it could be whatever is free. Um, I recommend using AVG if you want to use a free antivirus. It's great, it's easy. From my experience, it's easy to uninstall as well. Um, so run an antivirus, run your scan. Once you've run ran the scan um, and you've done a full system check and uh, any of the viruses have been removed, now you we can move on to the next step. We have to run the computer um, in safe mode but just before that you know what we could do this after safe mode or during but we'll just do it now you could first remove uninstall by going to control panel typing control panel into your windows search bar we could go to um underneath programs we want to go to uninstall click uninstall a program once we have clicked uninstall a program you want to search for any program that is suspicious um it might have a very sketchy name uh, as you can see here, this is everything very, these are all like uh, well-known applications. Nothing is suspicious here. Um, but you would want to look through your system to make sure there, or your uh, uninstall window here and make sure that there is nothing um, that stands out. You could Google anything that looks off. Uh, Google it, make sure that it's legit or not legit, um, and then you could delete it. Uh, you could also check by the publisher here. If it has no publisher name, um, that also could be a giveaway that's something very sketchy. If it's something you have never used on your computer, you have uh, never seen it or installed it, and it may, it may even say installed recently, that might be another good way for you to find out anything suspicious has been involved. Just uh, search the filter to search by installed on and do it from ascending, so the most uh, recent date. That will give you a ballpark uh, if you installed some kind of program, something that it may have been attached to once you uh, when you installed it. That's not always a giveaway though, so definitely just try to do research on whatever you might think is suspicious and and delete that. Once you've once you move forward from this step, if you're somewhat confident that there is no virus, like nothing still installed or as a program installed, um, you can move on to the next step. So now we would need to restart our computer in safe mode in order to um, look at our registry editor. So you could just type in your Windows search, search bar, safe mode, and an option will come up, change advanced startup options. That's what we'd like to so select. And another window comes up saying, recover. you'll see recovery. And under recovery, you have reset this PC and advanced startup. We want to press restart now underneath advanced startup. That's what will restart our computer and bring us into the window that will allow us to select safe mode. So once you do that and you reset your computer, you'll get an option to select a sa uh, safe mode as a as starting up. Please do select that. And once it's in safe mode, we're going to check out our registry editor. You could type registry editor. Um, it'll come up as an application in your Windows app, uh, or sorry, in your Windows search bar. It is an application called Registry Editor. That's what we want to work with. Now, typically, where you will find the admin rights that are kind of controlling this app, which is this extension, sorry, which is why you might realize you won't be able to disable it. I have disabled it here because I was able to remove 
um, the ID from my system by locating it in this file right here. So you will find it, you may find it in this specific location. You may not. You would have to go through and try to see the other folders, other Chrome folders, um, to find if there is anything suspicious suspicious there. So where I deleted this virus or the, uh, the registry that's associated with this um, extension virus here, I found it in the H key local machine software Google Chrome. So this is the path. So specifically, for me, it was in the extensions folder. For any other user individual, it could be anywhere else. It could be in, num in any number of places. I have provided you guys a list of alternative places that it might be um, in these other H key locations inside of our registry. So you see here we have H key current user H key local machine, H key users. These will be more the more typical places you might find them. I highly doubt you'll find any of those um, viruses, um, virus viruses and re registries associated with them being placed um, in the other f uh, folders. But you can check all of them if you're unable to find it. Now, if we go back to this location here, you will see a very suspicious entry. So right here it's under it has name of one and then for data this is the giveaway it actually has the exact ID it has the exact ID inside the registry and that is what's enabling um, the intruders or whoever installed this virus or this problem on your computer to constantly enable or update or work with uh, this Google document which can make changes, store data, it could do a whole bunch of stuff. Um, you don't want that in your system, uh, so you want that gone. If you're unaware that you even had this uh, extension virus on your system, you need to check. Um, because if it doesn't say it's disabled, that means it's still being used, it's still being implemented, um, and it needs to go. So simply delete it so you highlight it just hit delete on that entry don't freak out and says oh this might cause instability no this is very sus suspicious and doesn't belong so we're gonna delete that and then we're gonna close that and you would best thing to do after you have deleted that entry you want to simply select reset cleanup restore settings to their uh, default now if I, I don't I only recommend doing this if your extension didn't get disabled like you didn't actually get the tick to move off of the blue um, and appears off if it did not do that uh, that's why I recommend you do reset but resetting will remove um, any of your history and it'll disable any other extensions that may be important to you um, so yeah but keep that keep that in mind so if, if as long as it does disable it you may not need to reset it also if the virus is still installed on your software or, or um, on your system and it wasn't removed by by the antivirus then it will keep enabling itself like the virus will keep reinstalling those uh, settings those registry registry settings like you'll see that it'll come back up like even if you delete it if you don't remove the virus or the anything associated to the virus the registry key or that same sp suspicious ID uh, will keep coming up into the registry saying that like it has not been disabled it'll just keep going um, so yeah keep that in mind it should be perfectly fine if you follow the steps that I've given you in this video um, but if you still have not been able to figure it out then I recommend going to um, like a computer like a specialist somebody that could actually take a look at your system uh, to take a to take a look at the virus and see what what can be done all right thank you guys appreciate your time